So welcome everyone to tonight's Itera Care Wand product presentation. So glad you guys are all on here. And we are always so just thrilled to be able to share this incredible cutting edge technology because that is what it is. This is not woo woo. This is cutting edge technology that we are now so blessed to be able to have in our hands so that instead of us having to go to somebody else to heal us, we have these in our hands that we can do own self-care for ourselves, our pets, our loved ones. It's just, it's an incredible time um, in the planet that we now have this technology to help us. So let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Renee McLaughlin. I am a certified health coach. I've been a trainer. I've been working with frequencies and energy for lots of years. <laughs> and I was introduced to this wand about a month and a half ago by one of my dear friends who's sitting right over here, depending on where you're at on the screen, Cheryl Canerium. And Cheryl introduced it to me because she and I have a love of frequency and healing and healthy living and positive thoughts and all that good stuff. And she called me one day and she said, Renee, I have found this. You've got to check it out. I ordered it because I couldn't lift my arm. I've been using it. And now look, it is just working. And I'm going to open it up to Cheryl once we're towards the end. Is that okay, Cher? And then allow you to, to do more just so we can kind of get on with it. So um, incredibly grateful for to Cheryl for recommending it to me. So let's go right ahead. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go through a presentation uh, just to show everyone. We're going to go through what it is. The future of medicine, Albert Einstein said, would be the medicine of frequencies. Obviously, Albert Einstein was very much into energy and frequencies, E equals MC squared, and he predicted this was going to be the way. Why? Because he claimed that the energy out in the field is really the governing agency that comes down into our physical body. So he understood that using frequency was really the most effective, efficient um, way for us to heal our bodies. And we agree. Thank you so much, Albert. All right, let's get right into terahertz frequency because that's really what these wands are based on. What exactly is a terahertz frequency? Well, interestingly enough, in 2004, quite a few years ago, the government, the US government, said the terahertz technology was going to be one of the top 10 technologies that was going to change the future world. And we have absolutely been seeing it. It's been being used now, yes, in medicine, not just for this, but even in what we're using for x-ray and for healing, um, healing cancer. We're using it all over in medicine, in aviation, in drinking water and other social environments and life forces. So they were absolutely correct. The terahertz actual frequency has been called the wave of life by American scientists. Why? Because it matches the vibrational frequency of human cells. Every single thing that we have out here has a frequency. Everything is energy, frequency, and information. If you go all the way to quantum physics, there's nothing but space, energy, and information. And the terahertz frequency resonates with healthy human cells. And it does that to activate the body cells to function optically. And that's, of course, what we're going to talk about. It's also been called the wave of life by Japanese scientists who've been studying it. And Chinese scientists say it's God's wave band. Why? Because it is the same frequency as our regular human cells. So let me just show you, this is what it looks like on this spectrum. It's actually between microwaves and infrared. It's this beautiful little sweet spot between 30 ohms and 300. And um, that's exactly where our human cells are vibrating. It's generating millions of vibrations per second. So based on the terahertz frequency, when they develop these wands, it is developed on a combination of Chinese medicine and Western cytology technology. Boy, my mouth just said all that. And cytology is simply the study of cells. So it's based on cellular technology. 
So let's talk about the three wands that we have right now that are based on these, it, we call it like top t three technologies that the wands are actually based on. So the first one is that terahertz. What else is in there? Well, we also have what we call quantum or scalar energy that is put out along with the terahertz. And that's also what goes into the body. And it's just considered to be one of the most healing frequencies for the body. And the third part of the technology is quartz technology. So there are actually quartz crystals built into that. And the quartz crystals just help really get those tech, the um, frequencies to get deep in, penetrate deep into the body, deep into the bone marrow and we'll be talking about why that's important. The Itera Care device has been certified. It's stringently tested. I'm going to get into some safety in a minute. It's inspected, certified by the China Beijing Academy of Sciences and that is a very prestigious Academy and also the National Intellectual Property Rights and the patent certification. So these are extremely well studied they're patented and they're certified as being 100% safe. So let's just talk real quickly about the three wands so you get an idea. All of them are based on all of that technology. The red one is called the classic and that's really what most of us start with. It's what I have. It's $350 it includes shipping and it's just great. It's what we use for personal use. Very powerful. You can get great, great results with it. Then we had originally way back over here, the pro, that's the one all the way there to the right. And the pro is $3,500. That one's really used mostly in clinical settings. So if you're somebody that's a chiropractor or a massage therapist, acupuncturist, somebody who knows they want to use this in a clinical setting, you're going to be using it all the time. It's got extra settings. It's got a cold setting. It does not overheat. You can use it all the time. Yes, it is more powerful powerful, more powerful to the extent that the, um, the treatments that you use, you don't have to go as long. So again, makes it really good in a clinical setting. Then we have this brand new one. It's right in the middle and it's called the premium. Actually, it just we've had a few stock just come into the United States just in the last couple of weeks. People are giving great reviews on it. It is, it only has two settings on it, but it is much more sturdy, supposed to be a little less loud and also a little more powerful, but still giving great, great results. So those are the three that we have right now um, to be used. Now, all of those have all of these same five features. So I just want to go over the features that make the Iteracare wand so effective. The first one I want to show you again is safety. So I know a lot of people are really concerned, like, oh my goodness, this thing is blowing on me. Is it safe? It is absolutely certified, patented. We have all the certifications studied. It is 100% safe. It is non-ionizing. You can see all the testing even down here in the far right. It's testing to make sure that it's not giving off any ionizing or EMF frequencies. And I always think it's really interesting because people say, yeah, but it's like from China. Is it any good? You know, and they always have like lower end products. And that's true, except if any of you have an iPhone, this is also made in China, okay, and it is a very high-end product, so just like any place, lower-end, higher-end products, that is a higher-end product that we have made in China, and the other thing is, does anybody notice, is your iPhone really safe, and the 5G that's being put out by the iPhone? Well, we pretty much know it's not, but the, <laughs> but the terahertz is. There's also been shown to be 62 clinical tests that were issued by the Beijing um, Research Institute of Chemical Technology. So they did do a lot, a lot, a lot of clinical studies on humans, on rats and other live animals, just to make sure that it was safe. And again, it is. So please know you don't have to worry about the safety issue of it. Penetration. So I talked about having the quartz crystals in so that when we blow, that penetration of the healing frequencies go all the way in between 20 to 30 centimeters. Why is that important? Because we want the frequencies to get deep into the bones 
It's able to reach into the micro blood vessels in the capillaries because it's helping to enhance our microcirculation. It's also eliminating water retention. So we're gonna talk about that even more. The next one is what we call identification. What does that mean? Well, when the terahertz frequency goes in, it actually is able to recognize healthy cells. So it's like it helps the healthy cells get battery charged. I'm gonna explain that in a second. It then finds cells that aren't supposed to be there. They're not good for the body and they're able to eliminate that unblocking passages, vessels, it helps with the detoxification. So I just wanted to share this slide with you. I thought this was really interesting. So, you know, one of the things to think about is when we're born, we have all these beautiful cells and those cells haven't been, um, had a ton of stress, depending on what happened in utero, of course, but let's just take that average healthy baby. And, you know, it hasn't been stressed. It hasn't had a lot of toxins and everything coming through. So those batteries are pretty charged up with healthy, um, with healthy energy. But think about this, like over time, right? As we get older and older, we have stress, things happen. And even our healthy cells start to lose some of that charge. Again, I bring back up my cell phone. Our cell phones have healthy cells in it, right? But the charge wears down. We have to stick the electricity in there and charge that electric, you know, that healthy cells back up. It's the same with our bodies. So when we're giving it the, ter the terahertz frequency, it's actually giving our healthy cells that extra charge, which is one of the reasons that we end up really getting some good energy. Um, so people are like, wow, I'm getting really a lot of energy. Yeah, because we're really charging those up. And that goes through at a constant temperature. But what happens when we send it through to the unhealthy cells, those cells that aren't vibrating at that terahertz frequency? Well, what happens is it causes those cells to vibrate faster and faster and faster, which raises their cellular temperature unusually high for them. And then it destroys the unhealthy cells in the process. That's why we can tend to get a bit of detox. That's why those unhealthy cells tend to go away and now it's time to, to eliminate them. So the terahertz waves along with the quantum technology really can get in there, penetrate and remove some of the disease causing factors. So I thought that was really fascinating. Activation, I kind of just talked about that. We're activating, we're charging up the healthy cells and we're activating cells that are still good. They're not like dangerous cells, but maybe they're weak and inactive. We're giving them that battery charge. And the last of the five is it's user friendly. Guys, this is so easy to use. We don't have to go to somebody else to help us heal, to blow on us. We can take that blower and you can see people are just like this lady right here. She's just laying down and she's just got it right there onto her thyroid or whatever she has here. You just go up and down this. They're doing it on the baby. So you can have somebody doing it on you or you can do it yourself, which I really love. All right, so now I'm just gonna go through quickly the eight different steps to better health, the ways that the wand and these frequencies can really help our bodies help itself. So again, we talked about this. The energy is the same as normal cells. So it's gonna eliminate the abnormal or the mutated cells. It's activating the inert cells. We just talked about that. Creating self-healing. Again, charge up the healthy cells. It's also inducing and strengthening the DNA organic molecules, whereby it helps with the self-repairing. Now, part of that also is when that terahertz frequency goes in deep into that penetration, like we talked, into the bones, into the back, into the hips, into the nasal cavity, these are where our body is holding our latent stem cells. So when we blow into the body deep with the heat function, it allows our body stem cells to be released. And stem cells go right to wherever in the body we need to regenerate cells. So a lot of people go now and they get stem cell therapy. They have them injected into the knees, etc. But we have our own stem cells in our bodies. And this really helps activate those as well. 
what else does it do? Well, it clears the meridians and the lymph system. So a lot of what you'll see, even with our guides, so you're going to see a lot of the Chinese medicine and Chinese ways of talking about things, as well as our Western. So you can talk unblocking meridians, stimulating acupuncture points. It purifies the blood and increases the metabolic rate. You can also look at it as fascia if we want to talk Western. Right now, there's so much research on our fascial system. And really, the fascial system is the same as our meridians. So 3,000 years ago, the Chinese have mapped out the body's meridians. Now what we're looking at with fascia is they're the fascia lines. So we're allowing the body to heal, open up those energy blockages, and from there the body can heal itself. Terahertz also dilates the blood vessels. It reduces blood flow resistance and viscosity. Now, viscosity simply means that, you know, when our blood is, is dehydrated and it gets thick and almost like, um, like an oily honey kind of thickness. And when that happens, we don't get good circulation through all of our micros, our, our veins, our arteries, the heart. So this really helps reduce the viscosity, especially when we drink that hydrated water, which we'll talk about. And it's really able to get through all those vessels. So it's great for microcirculation. It also helps to regulate our endocrine glands and protect our organs. It clears unhealthy body moisture. So our body, especially when we're babies and we're first born, the body's about 70% water. And when the moisture increases, you end up getting a lot of edema, right? We get swelling in our legs and our feet and our fingers. And then what happens? Then it raises our blood pressure. And we go to the doctor and the doctor says, oh, you know, get off the salt. We got to put you on blood pressure medication to get rid of um, the extra moisture. Well, that's what this is going to do as well. It's going to automatically reduce the extra edema and clear that out for you. Circulation, we talked about this already. It also promotes blood circulation, removing clots, softening the blood vessels and the lumps. So who is it suitable for? Well, it's suitable for anyone that has any kind of, of itises, right? Itises meaning any inflammation, gastritis, anything that you can say is an inflammatory condition because it really helps the body reduce inflammation. So you can see all those things, prostatitis, it's been great for. Various pains. Oh, my shoulder, frozen shoulder, neck, hip, knees, feet, plantar fasciitis, work on those feet. It's amazing for all those things. Headaches, low back pain, sciatica. It's been great to help people relieve the pain of sciatica. Various blockages in the energy system, lymphatic blockages, varicose veins, it's been great. And you'll see I have a, a few before and after pictures. Diabetes, excellent. We talked about how it helps the glands, the pancreas, the different organs. High blood pressure can really help. Again, why? Because we're helping with the microcirculation. And it is fantastic for all different types of skin issues. Skin issues really show where we have blockages in the body system. So it's great for that. But there's also contraindications. Who is it not recommended for? Well, we do not ever recommend anything for pregnant women, do we? No, don't want to use it with pregnant women. And there's also a contraindication for women while on their period in menstruation. And I do want to mention this um, because we've seen in a lot of groups actual anecdotal information. For some women, they absolutely love any way to wand the belly with the heat. It really reduces cramps, reduces itis. For some women, they absolutely love it. For others, they have found that it does increase blood flow. So that's something that you can play with yourself. Maybe just do it a little bit once, just see how that feels to you. Um, and then you can take it yourself from there. If you have any kind of acute disease, something comes on quickly. No, you go to the doctor, you go to the hospital, you don't want. People with congenital heart and congenital kinds of diseases, obviously you want to seek medical care for that. Objects implanted. So 
we don't, especially if it's metal, you don't want to wand directly over metal, especially with the heat. So on the wands, I'm going to talk classic. The classic has three settings on it. The first setting, we call it a high blow because it gives it a lot of power with very little heat or no heat. The second is a, doesn't have quite as much power in the blow, and it has a little bit of heat. And the third is like this high blow in high heat. And really, it's supposed to be done. You're going to get the most um, healing from using the high blow, high heat, but that is very individual to each person and you need to work up to that. So you wanna start with not a lot of heat and see how the body's going to be, but you never want to blow, especially with heat over anything metal, all right? So any metal in the mouth, I get that question a lot. I have some implants, I have some metal um, things that I've had. Do I blow on my face? I do. I never use heat and I avoid that place. So I might go like under here and up and around and I'll go up this way. So I don't blow directly over that implant. That's how I do it. So just be forewarned. I know there are people that do it anyway, but that's the contraindication. Okay, open wounds and fractures. No, you have a big open wound, at least let it start to clot. Um, fractures, especially if it's in a cast, you wanna get it cast, you wanna seek medical attention, and then that's up to you to decide what you wanna do with that. All right, so now I'm gonna go into, oh, I'm going the wrong way, there we go. So next I wanna talk just a little bit about the water. Okay, let's talk a little bit now about how to use the wand to get the benefits that we're talking about. And the very first place we recommend people do when they get the wand is to wand your water. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But why would we wand the water? Well, you know, we've already talked about how the body has like 70% water and you go in and we know that water holds frequency. It loves frequency. So we want to wand our water first. What do you do? You're going to get a glass, glass. You want to wand in glass. So I'm just going to show you this glass of water. And we're going to put that frequency. We're going to stick it right about here and wand that glass for about a minute. And what is happening when we wand that water is that we take regular water and you want it to be clean, number one. So whether it's reverse osmosis, spring water, through a filter, you want clean water that doesn't have a lot of plastic or particulates in it, and you want it. Regular water is clustered molecular structure. It looks like that. So all these little clusters are like this. So if you ever look at it under a microscope, you're going to see that it's just got a lot of clusters in it. And it tends in the body, it's going to move slowly. When there's a lot of clusters, that means that it can't get into our little cells in order to hydrate. And you guys know, you take a first thing in the morning, we're up, we want to hydrate, right? So we take a big glass of water, just regular water. And like five minutes later, we're running to the bathroom, we're peeing all that water right out. And don't you wonder like, did I hydrate at all? Or it's really hot out now, drinking, drinking that water, peeing, peeing the water right out, right? It's not really hydrating. So even though you might be somebody that drinks all day long, it doesn't mean that you're getting that water into the cells. When you blow on this water, it is creating a linear structure. It's structuring the water into a linear chain. So now we're taking these and it's making it tiny and small. So now we're able to actually get that water deep into our cells to be able to hydrate. And once we're hydrated, the water hydrates, and then we can also get rid of a lot of the toxins in that way. So the hydrated water is huge, that structured water. And you can see all the different benefits that we get when you are drinking structured water, losing weight and slimming, it's going to be um, very alkalizing, anti-aging, reduces blood pressure. I'm not going to read all this. I think I've given you enough time to check all that out. So I want to show you how I do it. OK, this is my big water pitcher. You can do it with just a regular glass of water. For a glass of water, you want to do it for about a minute. Now, if you've been on the internet, seeing all the pictures and in the groups, there's so many people, they run, they try and get this, or they get a uh, hair dryer, 
holder and they put it and they try and do it right over the top. And that's perfectly fine. You can certainly do that, but you can do it this way. The terahertz frequency goes through glass. Okay, so it's perfect. You can do it this way. So I just take a big fat book and I put a little towel over it and I put my water here. Now, let's talk for a moment with the water about temperature. You're gonna see a lot of information around this wand and temperature. Frequencies are more active in warm room temperature or warm water. And by the way, if you've ever done any study on fascia, it's the same way. The fascia reacts to warmth. It slides and glides, okay, and you can feel better just putting a little heat on it. Why? Because that helps the fascia unbind from whatever it is bound to creating problems. So it's the same with this. So you want to have warm water when you're drinking it. And what I do in order to make that happen is I fill up my big jug with um, warm water and then I wand. Now, I personally wand on setting one, which is low to no heat with a high blow. You can do it either way. I just do that because what I like to do is set mine up. Because I have a big jug, I do it for a good five minutes. I don't care if I overwand. All that's going to happen is it's just going to continue to get even more frequency. I put it on my first setting and I walk away and do stuff. And then, of course, I get distracted and it's been on there for a really long time. <laughs> and anybody knows me will know I kind of get distracted easily. And then I come back and shut it off. If I would put it up on the high, it might really get hot on that on the wand, which is fine too. The wand um, will shut itself off if it overheats. Typically it can be on for a good hour without overheating, but I just do it like that. Either way, it doesn't matter what setting you put it on. I'm just sharing what I'm doing. Now, when you go to drink the water, it's really best if you drink it at room temperature or warm. Can you heat it and boil it up? Yes, boiling does not do anything negative to those frequencies. Can you put it in your refrigerator and chill it down? Well, you certainly can. You can do anything you want with your water. You won't be getting the same benefits because as that water gets cold, the frequencies aren't as active, but it will not harm you. So everybody just take note of that, all right? Warm or water. Now, what I do is, I, I, as you see, I warm mine up and then I use this water all day long. So I have a little spout. I use it. I put it in my hot water bottle. I heat it. I make my coffee with it. I make my tea with it. I drink it all day long. That's how I do it. All right. Now, there. when you get your wand um, from any of us, we all give you the guides. There's lots of guides and information on how to use the blower, but I want to just go over real quickly that there is what we call the basic 10. This is what we call the basic protocol and what we recommend people use when you first get started. Okay, so there's 10 and what you're going to see is you want to go two minutes, about two to three minutes on each step. OK, so what's the very first step? You're going to drink two glasses of the warm wanded water. I've even had people want exactly how much is a glass. Well, a cup of water is eight ounces. So if you want to be extremely specific, why don't you do 16 ounces of warm water? And by the way, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really interesting that when you are drinking the wanded water, it has a really different mouth feel to it. It's very soft and almost silky in your mouth. And I swear to you, it just goes down really beautifully. It goes down for me like I can down 16 ounces really easily. Not so much when I'm drinking like regular water from my filter tap. So um, I think you'll find it easier to do that. So you drink those two and then you start two minutes on one palm or the whole hand and then the other hand. The soles of the feet are around the full foot, behind the knee, in the groin. So there's very specific pictures showing you how to do it. Head, 
on, on the bottom of the tush, downwards on the spine, and then you drink two more glasses of water. Now, if you have high blood pressure, it is recommended that you do not blow on the top of the head, okay, for high blood pressure. So you would avoid that. Now, why do we do these 10 steps? And why do we do them in the beginning? Well, because you want to get your body used to the frequencies. Number one, you want to know how your body's going to handle the frequencies. And number two, these points are specifically designed to open the body's energy system. Let's open the meridians and allow the body to start to rebalance itself. And just doing that can be just fabulous. Now, you might be getting the wand or deciding on the wand because you have a very specific area that you want to work on. Oh, I have frozen shoulder. Oh, my lower back hurts, have bad knees. No problem. If you just want to go, Renee, I don't have time for all this. All right, no problem. Drink the water and wand on those places. Okay, just wand in little circles, go right there. You cannot do it wrong. So don't worry about doing it wrong. There's no way to do it wrong, point and blow. But if you want very specific protocols, this is how we do it. We start with this. In the blowing guide, we give you this, and then there are very specific um, items that will also give you additional things. Oh, you have low back pain, start here if you have time. If not, it'll show you exactly where to go and for how long. So there are very specific protocols. All right, now I just want to go over some, some fun um, testimonials just so you can kind of get a sense of how this um, therapy was working for people. I wanted to include this one on here tonight to show you that yes, it absolutely can help with weight management. And you can see the difference in these um, particular women. Now, why does it help? Well, it helps because so many of us end up having overweight issues not because we're overeating or eating crap or any of those things, but because we have imbalances in our energy system. Probably our cells are not working optimally. We probably have a lot of toxins that need to be done. We need to heal from the inside first. We get healthy first, and then the body takes care of the rest. The inflammation goes down and the body rebalances itself. So that can absolutely be a benefit that you get just from using the wand and healing. Skin issues, as I said, super good. So psoriasis is something that can be just so disfiguring for people. So here's somebody that did it. This was after seven days. And we don't know what it looked like when he first started, but it might have gotten a little redder. We talk about sometimes things can get a little worse before it gets better. Keep going. Let the body heal. Here it is after nine days. It might start to look a little crustier. You can see that. But they kept going. And after 22 days, look at this. The crusting is gone. Keep going. That's the top takeaway. How about thyroid nodules? This particular woman had a huge goiter right here, a big thyroid, and just 10 days she kept going, and now you can barely see it. Another psoriasis after 10 times of therapy. Not once, perhaps after once it didn't look like this, but keep going, drink the water, and keep wanding. Burns, burns will get better so much quicker and hopefully with little to no scarring. Plebitis, another thing, it's an itis. Look what that can look like. But after 20 times of therapy, it goes from here all the way to there. Beautiful, Bell's palsy. Just one week of therapy for Bell's palsy because it does help. Um, it's been shown to help improve neurological issues which can be so great. Just regular pigmentation. As we get older, we get liver spots. We get aging spots. We just get pigmentation. We get sunspots and all kinds of things. 
wand, 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 and take a beginning picture. Sometimes we don't even remember what it used to look like. I wish I had done that because I have some places and scars that are just practically gone. I so wish I had done it. But you can see after seven times how much less it is. Now, I had this particular um, slide up. And before I was like, I don't really get it. But here's what I want to show you. This cute girl does her one side of her face and after. And I couldn't really tell until I looked at this one all the way here on the right. Here's what happened. She only wanted this right side of her cheek and not this one. So you can see over on the left side, she has a lot of puffiness and some inflammation on this side and not on here. So they like to say that she goes from an O face to a V face. So again, it's really been great for anti-aging and beautification of the skin. Varicose veins. We talked about how it helps with microcirculation. And you can see here's where it started. And just for this one, after one treatment, really made a difference on those veins. So let me just kind of sum it all up with a few extra things, just knowing that the manufacturer who is doing this, they constantly are upgrading the wands. We're seeing now we're in the fourth and fifth generation. They're continuing to improve this terahertz frequency. We can't wait to see what else it comes down to. Each of the wands have the three-in-one core technology. They've all passed strict, ins strict inspection by their national authority. We've seen lots of safety um, in health um, studies that have been done from the Academy, the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Quality assurance, by the way, you do get a one-year warranty against manufacturer's defect. It is nationally recognized, certified, and patent. And the company, Price International, is the worldwide sole distributor for this terahertz frequency technology. So I'm going to stop the share here. And I hope that I gave you enough information, A, if you're just learning about it, to make some dis informed decisions. If you have a wand, I hope I gave you maybe a little bit more information. And now I'd like to open it up for any questions that you might have. So I can see right off, um, Martha said, is there a satisfaction? Oh, thanks, a satisfaction guarantee. No, there is no money back guarantee on the wand. It is not a medical device. It is a phys physiotherapy device. And here's the bottom line on it, Martha, is that the wand does exactly what it says it's going to do. Now, how your body takes in that frequency and the results that you get is gonna be completely individual to the person. So there is not a money back guarantee. Um, but there is a one-year warranty against manufacturer defect. So thanks for that question. What other questions can we have? And if you want, you can unmute yourself and come out and ask, or you can feel free to do it in the chat. And also, if any of you have a testimonial, we'd love to hear it. Cheryl, while we're waiting for questions, would you mind coming out and just saying hi? I got it, Cindy. I'll answer in just a sec. So she was like, okay, how do I unmute myself? <laughs> All right, well, Cheryl's still not unmuted. So while that is, Cindy asked, how close to the body do we wand? Like this. There's no rule, Cind, about where to do it. You're just going to wand. You're going to see what your preference is on the different parts, okay? And with the heat. So most of the time, I'm right about to hear. Just wanding. Okay. So let me see if I can unmute Cher. I don't know that I can unmute her. I can't probably share. So you're going to have to figure out how to unmute yourself down on the bottom. <laughs> can you unmute? It's not working for me. No. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make you a co-host. Yes, I am. Now see, can you unmute? Let's, there I she can. is. Yay. Yay. Technology is fine. Okay. I need to let people unmute. Go ahead, babe. Okay. So... And I remuted you. How did that happen? Sorry, lovey. That's I'm sure that's me. So let me let me do that again. <laughs> oh, Renee, Renee, Renee. No. Shoot. Sorry, honey. Just give me a second. Mute. Oh, I got all mute. Allow them to unmute yourself. Yes, I have okay. a yes on there. There you go. Can't get you on mute, huh? <laughs> I don't know why. 
Ah. You keep, you keep uh, muting us. There you go. Well, Dan's but, not muted now, so that means you can unmute. What, what you do is down to the, your bottom left hand I'm corner screen. She got, she got it. Thanks, Dan. I had the settings wrong. I Thanks for that. Go ahead. Step, step away from the computer, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Something's um, retrograde. I'm sure of it. <laughs> yes, right. Um, so my story is um, in 2013, I had a mild stroke and that perpetuated my interest in wellness and realizing what was happening to my body, so on. So fast forward through the years, um, I found this and I just knew I had to have it when I saw it. I didn't really know much about it, but it made sense to me. So I'm like, I like shiny new objects and all the new gadgets. Um, and so I bought it and I've been using it since the end of March. And I will tell you that it's been very subtle for me, which is okay. You know, I don't expect, I'm not that one hit wonder, but as I drink the water every day, I'm so hydrated and my supplement intake is cut in half. I don't take as much anymore. I'm doing muscle testing to see if I need it. And so that part of it is great. I'm saving a ton of money with that. But the best thing that is happening, besides my husband ho hogging it all the time, and he was skeptical, is um, I'm able to um, walk better. My hip suffered some osteoarthritis after the stroke because it, you know, it, it all, everything got all tight. And uh, yesterday, again, I took a four mile walk on the beach with no pain and no, no issues. To me that I can't put a price tag on that. And that, that is my biggest testimonial. He kept saying, you wanna stop? You, you wanna go back? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and you know, cause I know you're a walker. You're very an avid, you know, and you knew when I used to exercise with you, it was tough, you know, I couldn't, couldn't get that leg to move and right. it's doing great. Oh, Cheryl, that's so great. Thanks for that. I love that. All right. So I'm getting lots of questions down here. So let's just begin from the beginning and I will answer here. So real quick, Martha wanted to know how long I've personally been using it. Martha, I've been using it for about a month and a half. Uh, just quickly, what have I noticed? Now, number one, I'm not sick. So, you know, I don't have anything big that I was working on. I have gotten rid of the floaters in my eyes. I use it over my eyes, cool setting, always use cool setting on the face. And um, I don't know if it's a, um, if uh, this isn't true or not, but I swear it's helping my eyesight. We have seen anecdotals with eyesight, um, but it definitely got rid of my, um, with my floaters. Uh, my microcirculation in my lower legs is much better. I was getting kind of restless legs at night. I don't get that anymore. My toes aren't purple. My skin is tightened up a lot, which is pretty impressive. Um, my skin is super soft. So I don't know any of you, um, I'm at least going to speak to the ladies, that as we get older, our skin dries out, doesn't it? That's we get dry and we get wrinkly. Girls, I'm telling you, my skin is so soft. It's unbelievable. Even the bottoms of my feet, which because I had poor circulation was really, I know a little TMI, but kind of dried out and hard and flaky and not attractive. Completely different in a month and a half. So that's been really exciting. I love to wand my belly. I wand it clockwise right from underneath my rib cage and down. Elimination. Yes, I'll just put it that way. That's been great. So I know I've healed my gut. Um, so I've just been getting lots of benefits that I wasn't expecting, okay, which I think is really cool. Pay attention when you start to use it because you might be getting it for a specific thing. But you know what? The body doesn't know, oh, I'm only to do this. It's going to heal everything. It's going to rebalance everything. So pay attention to all the little subtle things that are happening, and you think you're going to be pretty blown away. So that's my um, kind of testimonial, Martha, for that. Oh, well, one other thing I was talking about earlier is, as a trainer, you know, I'm always working out. So, you know, you pull a little this, you pull a little that. And I just almost ignore it <laughs> just because, you know, what am I going to do? I'll stretch, but it still moves from one place to the other. And when that happens now, I just stick out my wand. I'm like, okay, this is bothering me. I wand for a few seconds. I swear it goes away. And I really just feel really good. One person I know will ask, what happens if you live by yourself and there's nobody there to wand your back? So I want to address that. Some people get that 
that Amazon hair dryer and they try and do this. That's beautiful. I couldn't get it to stay and I didn't want my wand falling. So I'll tell you what I do. Sometimes I'll go in my side and do that, but mostly I lay on my back and I just go up and down the front like this. And I visualize it going back. Why? Because we know that it's going to penetrate all the way down through the bone marrow. Well, if it's doing that, the front and the back, we're still in the bone marrow, right? So you're still getting the back of your spine and the front if you do it from the front. So that's how I do it. Make it really easy. So Becky, and hey, Becky said, I think the wand reached about 10 inches in depth. You're right. How wide? So there is a blue light that you'll see when you do it. And that kind of gives you the focus. We're assuming but Becky, that it's where that light blue light is pretty much there. And then how the body takes that um, is up to it. I can't really give you a note that I absolutely know. That's going to be my best um, answer to you. We talked about how close it is. Can it be used on filtered water or just straight tap? I personally would not use it on straight tap water because tap water really has a lot of chemicals and who knows what else is in it. So I, I have a whole house filter. So for me, I can use the tap and it's filtered. Um, uh, so I would use any kind of clean water. All right. So if you have a, some people use a Brita, that's better than tap or get spring water. So that's what we're doing. What are the effects for skin tightening? More than just on the facial lines. I don't know if you meant facial or facial. Either way. So I use it again on my skin because I'm pretty much doing lots of things. I'm finding that it's tightened up the skin on my legs. It's tightening. I'm still working here, girls. I'm working here. <laughs> doing my best. I'm hoping. I can't say that all of a sudden I've noticed huge things. I'm working here, but definitely in here and around the eyes, the eye wrinkles are definitely getting softer. And I really think a lot of it's just the hydration. You hydrate, a lot of the wrinkles go away. So I hope that answers that question. When the water is wanted, can the water be poured in a plastic bottle? Yep, yeah, sure. No problem. You can do it there. You can do it in. What do I use? I use like metal. Metal is wonderful, okay? You don't want to wand in metal because it's not going to go through here, but it will go through glass. Something, somebody, nobody asked, can we do it? Do we have to keep, can we keep our clothes on? Yes, it will go through clothes. If you want a lot of skin though, it's nice to not have it on if that's appropriate for where you're at. How hot is the heat temperature that it blows out? I can't answer that question, Martha. I don't have a temperature. I will tell you it can get fairly warm, especially if you start and you keep blowing it. So you either then take it down to cool it or you take it a little bit away from the body. So you use it up to your personal preference. Does the rev and have a cool setting? It doesn't have cold setting like a cold shot that the pro has, but on number one, there is no heat. It's just blowing the air. Okay. It's not actually cool. Oh, Cheryl had, had floaters too, and she's losing inches. Yeah. I dropped about four pounds when I started using a month and a half ago. So I actually did also, and it was just, you know, inflammation because I haven't really done that much different. Can I chart, use the charged water? Am I? Yes, absolutely. In your hot water dispenser, a uh, hot water dispenser. I, I'm sure you can. I'm not sure what that is. I use it in my hot pot where I boil the water. So not sure about what that means, but probably. <laughs> Cheryl says use a rubber band, and I'm sure that's for the um, the uh, wanted the, the hair dryer holder. I'm just not that uh, creative, but it's certainly a lot of people do it. Um, sorry, I was asking about skin tightening for the body. Yes, okay, not for the face, like massive weight loss. Um, yes. Definitely, it will tighten the skin. Now, I'm not going to say I think it's going to be like, you know, cosmetic surgery. Maybe over time, as the body continues to heal and tighten and use it, I hold out for the possibilities. Let's put it that way. All right. Cheryl says she does it. <laughs> Shower while she's naked. Yeah, girl. I like that. <laughs> So what other questions or testimonials that any of you guys have, those of you that have the wand, if you'd like to share, we'd love to hear. And you can unmute um, if you want. And while that's happening, I just got um, a wonderful testimonial on my iPhone, on my email today from somebody that has one that um, had some hip issues. She was saying that her hip was really, really suffering and she just got her hip or her um, wand out today. And she's like, um, when I got home, I gave myself about a 30 minute blow 
drank some wanted water. I spent about four minutes on each hip flexor. I feel fantastic. The pain is gone. Woohoo. So she was a one hit wonder on those hip flexors, which can happen. Um, but just know when the body is given what it needs, it rebalances and it helps itself. Beautiful. So any other questions or anything, please feel free while you're on. Well, I'll uh, comment on my one week uh, journey. Great, Dan. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's really been an un recognized health issue that I've uh, been looking at for a while. But what happened was through the course of uh, doing just the 10 step uh, mm -hmm. process, except for number eight, I wouldn't do my head yet. Okay. I don't think I have high blood pressure, but I wanted to know how it was going to affect the rest of me before I damaged anything in my head. Not that I would, <laughs> but what I have, I don't want to lose. So, right. uh, and then, so I, then I recognized, well, maybe I'll just sprinkle the water, the ionized water, not ionized, but the structured water on my head. And I would do that and it absorbed right in. Now, this winter I was in uh, with a few visitations at a dermatologist looking at pre-cellular cancer spots. And uh, went through some sessions with her, and I was recommended for blue light therapy. And then after that, they put on a pretty aggressive salve, and your head bit becomes pretty raw. And I wasn't in for all of that. But one week, my head is as smooth as a butt, and I don't, I don't see, I don't feel, I don't feel one crusty area anywhere. Wow. Just by sprinkling the water on, rubbing it in, let it evaporate and absorb. Damn, that's it. Yes, that's beautiful. And you also kind of highlighted something else you can do, which is take the wanted water and put it in a spritzer and spritz. You can take it over your bath water. Okay. And yes, you can wand the bath water and get in the bath water. How beautiful is that? Thank you for that. That's amazing. Huge. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yes, all kinds of skin things have been shown to really uh, get better. I'll just put it that way. That's a great one. All right, you guys, just last chance. Anybody else? I'm going to make sure nobody was saying anything in here. Lady, spray your face. Yeah. Beautiful. Can you share about showering before? Oh, yeah. So there is one other little rule that, um, that they recommend. And that rule is that when you want, they recommend not taking a shower or being under a, a breeze, like blow air, blow, cold air blowing directly on your body for about four hours. Now, why is that? And a lot of people are like, my God, it's 100,000 degrees outside. I have to be in air conditioning. Well, just know they're not saying don't be in air conditioning, but what they are saying is after you want, you want to maintain your body heat. And you've seen how heat with this, it's all part of the therapy. So if yes, you're going to be in air conditioning, of course, but what they're recommending is don't be in like a, a cold air directly blowing right on your body if you can help it, okay? If so, if that's where you're at, then maybe put just something on so that you don't catch a chill. Same thing with taking a shower. Why don't take a shower four hours after? Yeah, you're in warm water. That's great. But typically when we go from a hot shower out, there's a tendency to get a little bit of a chill. That's why they say that. So you might want to shower first and wand after. So just use your common sense with that. That's the reason that we have those, um, those four-hour rules, okay? Use your common sense with it. All right. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this recording. Let me make sure that I am off the recording.